Hi, it's Miss Christine, and today's video I wanted to talk about something that has come up about six times in the last week with my students here, and that's how do I write? I have a research paper, where do I start? I just want to write it. And I say, well, where's your note cards and where's your outline? And they go, what? So one of the things we want to do whenever we write any kind of essay, if it's a research paper, first, obviously, you have to do your research. And on that note, I um, get these are all my students, and I think this is a great, um, it's Deborah Dale Designs. They have these fantastic flashcards that are really tiny. And these are also fantastic for um, studying vocabulary or foreign language. The thing I like about their, um, this company is that they come in lots of different design colors. I have several boxes and each box has different colors. And what we wanna do before we start our research is think about what questions you wanna answer. Where do you want your paper to go? What do you want it to say? What kind of things do you wanna find out about them? And a lot of people do research papers because they have to. But instead of making it drudgery, take a couple of minutes and think about what do you care about this topic? And if you don't care about it, how can you care about it? Um, for example, my sons who love baseball, every single research topic revolves around baseball. Um, every single research topic I did in college revolved around libraries or reading or authors or the Dewey Decimal System. I somehow found a way to make the topic into something I care about and that's what I've taught my sons to do. And so what you want to do is what, then find out what you want to know. And each paragraph you should take a couple of minutes to write down your thoughts. Yes, this takes more time in the beginning, but what it will do is give you a fur if you follow along just pay attention here because if it, you'll get a first draft that's really better than most people's final drafts. So we're front loading the all the work so that at the end there's hardly anything to do. And it will actually save you a lot of time in the whole project. But sit down, think about what questions you want. Where do you want your paper to go? Is it a timeline? Do you want to go from the earliest to the late uh, most current or the most current to the oldest? If it's something that you're trying to prove, do you want to put your um, least um, relevant topics first and build up so your last paragraph is the most important thing? Um, your last body paragraph is the most important thing or the other way around? Do you want to start with your strongest um, topic to convince them and then work your way down? It should be Think about how you want to structure your topic. Then take your different colors and when you do the research, and when you do the research, each one at each paragraph will be a separate color. The other the reason why I like you go, how do I put all the information on such a tiny little card? It's it's the size, it's about the size of a credit card. You know, your debit card. How do you do that? Well, by doing that on these little cards, you can play, it's so hard to plagiarize. So keep it simple. And that keeps your plagiarism to a minimum, like your ability, you can't do it. If you use those big cards, like the five by eight, or even the regular three and a half by five, there's so much room on there. It is so easy to plagiarize. You, you're just gonna get into trouble. Don't do it. If you can't get these cards, take those other cards and cut them down. Cut them in half, cut them in quarters, cut them in thirds, something, so that you don't have that much room. The nice thing about these cards, they also have a little hole, so they bind up to, um, with a ring together. So anyway, once you have your research, one of the things, as you're researching, one of the things you want to talk about in each topic, each paragraph that you're going to talk about, you want to do the, the five W's. You want to try to answer as many of these as you can in each and every paragraph. Who does it affect? Who are we talking about? What what are you talking about? When did it happen? Where does it happen? Why and how? And depending on the topic, it's going to be different for each paragraph. 
you're not going to always be able to answer every single one of these questions, but if you can get four or five of them, if not all six, that, that answers your questions, um, that creates a whole topic. It also gives you a place to research. You shouldn't just be going and looking at a book and reading it and saying, oh, this is a cool fact. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. You should be asking questions and looking for that specific information. Once you do that, you can easily do your outline. You can line up your index cards in the way you want your paragraphs to be written and then create a quick outline. And from there, it's just typing it up. And it, at that point, you're pretty much done. And you just have to edit um, for grammar. If, I hope this helps on how to get started on a research paper. And have a fantastic day.